looking in the mirror and seeing the body, okay. we don't see ourselves at all. But then looking in the mirror and having blue eyes, me, Mason, I'm like, oh, I see myself a little bit. And then Cole with the hair, he's like, oh, I kind of see myself too. And it's like a little bit better than seeing the body. We just have a lot of distress, I guess, about what we look like. Why do we subject ourselves to this? You know? Our body is 27 years old. Our ages range from six to 30 years old. We feel like we're multiple ages, multiple genders. In our heads, we look a completely different way. And then we look like this. States, there are an estimated 4 million people diagnosed with dissociative identity disorder, known as DID. For Brew, I met with the winter system in Utah. They were diagnosed with DID two months ago and are currently living with nine people, known as alters, in one body. This is Damon's wig. We cut it ourselves. Uh, who cut it? I cut it. No. Someone in the system cut it. <laughs> I'm just going to be showing you some of these really cool sims that Mason made earlier. My favorite is obviously mine. Then there's Cole. This is Jet. He's such a cutie. I was super happy when I saw that Mason made Jeremiah like this. Then there's Liam. I love how Damon decided to dress himself. That's so cute. Bethany looks like a f queen, honestly. She looks so good. Are you kidding? And then finally Mason. Um, Jesus Christ, Mason. Okay, whatever. It's formerly more known as multiple personality disorder, but that diagnosis is no longer given out. How's it going? How are you guys? Thanks for liking the live, y'all. It's a disorder that is formed during childhood as a coping mechanism to deal with intense childhood trauma. It essentially makes it so that the brain splits into several different identity states. Yay, it's working, you guys. Okay, if we just keep having faith, most people just, just have running. one identity and they're like, oh yeah, I'm a man and I'm this many years old. Versus with people with DID because of their childhood trauma, we feel like we're multiple ages, multiple genders, things like that. I was abused when I was six. There was something that happened with a family member that happened one time and there was also something that happened with a group of teenagers that happened multiple times. After that, we were very hypersexual and then we're like, oh, I guess that's a sin, but we've been doing that for so long, so I guess we're horrible. And I needed to get therapy for that. I needed to be seen by a legitimate therapist, not a conversion therapist. And like, all of that happened within Mormonism. You don't want to look like how you look because maybe you were abused because of how you look. When people think, oh, like, deity is incredibly rare, what they're saying is, you can't have this disorder, you must be faking. So one of my recent videos got me on the side of TikTok where people think that everyone and their dog is faking their disorders when actually people just have disorders. I had to quit my job because my boss fake claimed me. They think that I would make up my trauma. They think that I would fake my disorder for attention. I feel defeated a little bit. Um, I feel really sad because I was really close with them. DID is such an interesting <laughs> diagnosis and some people live with it unawares it's really neat to wake up to your experience or your system you know it's not only you know separate state of emotions um, and thoughts and beliefs and values but even the physiology changes like one alter will be experiencing anxiety and then someone sw switches in and then there's no anxiety it's like gone <laughs> but i've had clients who in their work and healing they've They've developed just a, a cooperative relationship with the alters within themselves. Some people have these refined skills and ability for certain tasks or certain environments to um, interface with the world in, in different ways, right? Especially when you when you don't have a lot of the sim like the disordered symptoms anymore. I can see how yeah, it could definitely be like a gift and not like a gift, but you know what I mean. Like an asset, right? An yeah. asset, yeah. But it can be so frustrating too, um, right. and so much difficulty getting to that point. You know, I've, I've worked with systems where wants to date, one wants to date, the other doesn't, and you know, one part of the system likes a certain person, the other part doesn't. So there can be a, a lot of conflict, a lot of turmoil. We have two boyfriends, or the body has two boyfriends. We're gonna be making candles. <laughs> this is so sweet. Ah. Love you, baby. We are just at the canyon, and 
We're doing a little vlog of our time here and how pretty it is. Mm -hmm. I, I literally would, would go to the car wash like three times a day. At least. At Because I would go like three times in one time. Yeah. It, it's like a weird coping mechanism of mine. What song should I lip sync to? I think it is a dinosaur. We're so excited. We're gonna be doing mochi pimple popping, you guys. Are you excited, Casey? I'm very excited. These are so cute. Also, we have this lotion that we're gonna be putting into the mochi. But right now, we're just slowly getting the lotion in. Yes, we are giving them their tea shots. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> we have dissociative identity disorder. And we kind of wanted to talk to that, talk about that while we did the mochi today. So do you guys have any questions? Yes, Alex, this is my boyfriend. Sorry, I got some makeup on you. Thanks for getting makeup on me. <laughs> <laughs> you have such supportive partners, but what's the hardest part of dating people with DID? Well, it's like in a relationship, you're trying to figure out your boundaries or how to mesh into one each other, like each other's, mm -hmm. to be in each other's lives. And then, but it's like, oh, you're actually eight people. You need to make sure that everyone's boundaries are met. Be clear about that. There are a lot of people in our system. We have different ages and we have different genders. And it's like, not all of us want, you know, not all of us want to be touched in the same way. Not all of us uh, should be touched in the same way. Someone said a mean comment. Will someone mute them? <laughs> Thank you. Have we ever got fake claimed? Oh, we've been fake claimed so many times. They're like, you are fake because you don't talk differently. You f you're fake because you talk differently. How did you learn to accept yourself? I feel like that's a good one. When we realized that we were different people, it was like, we can either like pretend that this isn't true or we can like try and move forward with it and like get to know ourselves and then we were like that's really the only thing we can do is try and move forward ah! <laughs> it, that was oh it got on the phone i need to get that off today i'm just gonna be trying to get damon to front because he hasn't fronted in a really long time when I say friends, I mean like I want him to come and be in control of the body. And I want him to see this little space that Mason made for him in the closet. When I say that Damon wants to look like himself, you know, I don't actually look like Damon right now because Damon is a six-year-old boy. <laughs> we just try to look the most like ourselves we can in the inner world, if that makes sense. Listen, it's, it's still Sage. But Damon is here too, and he's not fronting, but he's like very present. And he said that this space is really cool and he loves it. So, yeah, he's not gonna front though, I don't think. I don't know why he doesn't want to, but maybe he's nervous. <laughs> but yeah, um, thanks for watching. Damon loves swinging, and so even if he's not fronting, he gets joy out of us swinging. And he swings all the time in the inner world. I wish that the whole world would know that I am just another person, you know? Like, we are multiple people, but we are just another person, you know? We're just out here living our lives, not trying to harm anyone, trying our best. <laughs> that was so fun. <laughs> I'm really proud of who we are. We've come so far and we've realized so much about ourselves.